If you're not subscribed to my channel, press that little red button and subscribe because there's lots of exciting things to come. Good morning. I'm saying morning because I've literally just woken up. Um, just out on the balcony having a look at the beautiful sunshine. It's lovely and cool in Chiang Mai in the morning. Um, and it gets so, so hot. Sorry, I'm doing my best holding this camera. It gets so hot from about 10 o'clock. So first thing in the morning, we open the windows, let all the fresh air in because the room, we're only in a little room, in a little unit. It gets really hot overnight. And we let the beautiful fresh air in and we start the day. I'm going to take you through my day today. Um, we're going to some place miles away today um, we've got to go to the embassy we've got to organize getting an extension on our visa um, because we're gonna we're staying here till august so we're gonna organize all that today and um i want to call into a market because i've run out of celery i've only got enough for this morning celery juice so i need to get that as well anyhow i'm going to take you through my day i'm going to see how it all goes i'm feeling ready to start the morning okay before i hop in the shower each morning i skin brush my skin now the first thing that i do is generally take my clothes off but i'm not doing porn here okay so the reason i skin brush every morning is your skin is your largest organ so most of our toxins come out through our skin so by skin brushing you are helping all the toxins excrete from your body so the first thing you do is make sure you've got a little brush now generally there are bigger and better skin brushes and they're um, quite large but i bought this because it's very light for traveling and it's meant to be a foot thing it's, it's even got the pumice on the back it doesn't matter as long as they've got natural this um little thistles it's fine Anyway, and you just brush the skin in a sweeping motion, but up towards your heart. So don't go down, it's always up. And you just, you know, go right through it. It doesn't take me long, it takes about five minutes. And you just get all the dead skin off. And then I do that on my legs. I get my partner to do my back when I do my back. You know, you get your stomach down, the whole bit. Then, once that's done, I hop into a cold shower. Cold showers are great for your blood circulation. They're great for healing also. So, you know what? If you're not used to having cold showers, you go, ah! But once you get used to it, just slowly but surely turn the heat down until you're having cold showers. You won't regret it. I'm really excited to have these during the day. I haven't had juice for so long. So I've got some cold pressed grape juice, some cold pressed mango juice. Not sure how they did that. And some pure strawberry juice. Um, so they will be my little beauties throughout the day. My morning generally starts with um, going through Facebook notifications and uh, drinking my beautiful celery juice. Celery juice has so many benefits. If you want to know the benefits, um, I've put a link in the description to a video that I've actually done on celery juice. Okay, so I'm going to make a smoothie for breakfast. I'm not always a fan of having bananas in the morning, to be honest. I like to have high water fruit fruit to break the fast. However, um, I'm running late and I'm about to get picked up, so I've got to have something for on the run. So I've got here one, two, four, five bananas. I'll just squish them down. These ninjas I do my head in, I've got enough room. Anyway, no, I'm not advocating anyone to buy ninja. I'm gonna put some ice cubes in. Probably say this all the time. I hate warm smoothies. So, hence I put ice in there because I don't have frozen things. Also gonna add some berries, if we can get a few in. Anyway, we'll get what we can in. I've got some strawberries. So I've added half in. I'll blend the other half in after. Then I'm gonna add some water and blend it. 
Be back to you soon. Okay, so here you have it. My strawberry and banana smoothie. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, so good. I haven't had a berry and banana smoothie since I left Australia. Really nice. Love it. We've actually locked cars in and there's other cars locking cars in but what they do in Chiang Mai is you leave the handbrake off and you leave it in drive so that if people want to go um, get out they just push the car forward if you can't do it someone else will do it for you that's the logic of the parking in Chiang Mai Hi, I've been back. Uh, I've just got back. I've been out most of the day. We went in, got our visas renewed, and then after that, we've just driven around the city basically and outside the perimeters of the city, just having a look at different things in Chiang Mai. Um, I've just got home and I'm starving, so I'm going to have some jackfruit, my favorite. This is how it comes in little packs like this also going to have some cold pressed grapefruit um, grape juice because I am ravishing absolutely ravishing now I just want to talk about something that happened today um, there was a discussion about the fact in Thailand I asked um, how come dogs have collars but they look like street dogs and he said oh because owners let the dogs do whatever they want they're free to roam they're free to do whatever they want and they never put them down so if they're ill or whatever they never put them down they never put cats down or whatever because it's against their philosophy to kill animals but it got me thinking, this country is just full of meat. Like everywhere you look, like I go through the markets like this because I have to look at pigs' heads and 
chickens and turkeys hanging upside down and it's just like everywhere it's totally in your face you see poor fish just suffocating it's just shocking and i walk through when i'm going through the fruit and veg just like this i don't want to look anywhere because it, it really upsets me and i thought well how come they don't have the same philosophy with the cows with the you know with the pig cow and pig and chickens are major here that's their main um source of meat and you know they don't have that philosophy in fact they have abattoirs here and the street that the abattoirs are on um, where a lot of the Burmese hang out apparently this is what I heard today and it's called crying street and I said oh is that because the Burmese are always crying and they said no it's because the abattoirs are there and they believe that the animals are crying I'm thinking well yeah they are they're petrified they're about to be killed but I had just a really hard day because the guy that took us out today he just sort of made fun of the he was sort of making fun of vegans he was making stupid jokes which I didn't find funny but I just let it go um, and he was telling me all this different stuff and I'm like mm-hmm 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 and it was just one of those days as a vegan that you realize how far we've got to go in this movement and how far removed people are like he was making ridiculous jokes and i just did not find this funny this one we we're getting lunch and you saw i had i had my bananas and my mango juice and tom got some rice and vegetables he ended up getting two plates because he was still hungry and um he got pork bits and egg anyway and he's sitting there eating and he said oh someone asked me once if I was vegetarian and I said yeah I am I eat cows and they're vegetarian and I'm just thinking this is not funny but I just totally ignored it and it just made me realize how much it's so nice to be with other vegans who get it who understand it and then when you associate with people who've got no compassion at all you just think wow this world is just really not a nice place and people are so far removed from everything so today was a real hard day for me um, there were many other things that were said during the day but I'm just choosing to switch them out of my head anyway I just wanted to put that out there because it was part of my day and it sort of flattened me a little bit and it really had my head thinking for a lot of the day thinking wow you know and even when he was telling me about, you know, how they won't kill the cats and dogs, and I'm just thinking in my head, but they're killing pigs and whatever, which he never thought of that because no one thinks of that because that's food. You know, they're not they're not living, breathing beings. Anyway, rant over. <laughs> um, let's talk about something positive. I'm going to have my beautiful grape juice. I'm going to have my beautiful jackfruit. And I'm gonna go get on with the rest of my day because I'm gonna make some dinner. I'm going to try and attempt to make some veggie patties, raw veggie patties. So I'm gonna see how I go with the limited food I have and the limited um, apparatuses. So I've made these beautiful tacos tonight for dinner. This in fact is my second plate. I was so hungry, I had to get into it as soon as possible. So I am so excited I've made these tacos tonight. You've got no idea. Since I've been traveling, I haven't really had any raw sort of meals, except I've been just having massive salads with mango, banana, and tomatoes. And tonight I just thought stuff it. This was a very long process because I had to find the really great stuff and I had to blend it as much as possible in my little ninja. But it's paid off and this is so delicious. Um, I'm going to post a recipe for these on my Instagram. So I'll um, put the link for my Instagram below in the description if you want to make these. These are nut free. Everybody makes nut meat. I didn't make nut meat. So get onto that recipe but my goodness they are so good I've got the beautiful nut free um, meat and I've also got a creamy um, sour cream there so I'll have the recipes for both all right thanks for watching bye for now and remember love life and live free